Thank you for visiting SanAntonioJoe.com. Last year we had a post on how to roast hatch green chilies, and so this year we thought we'd go ahead and follow it up with an actual video of how to roast them. Now it is that time of year, football's about to get started, hatch green chilies are in season, and if you're not familiar with them, they're actually made in New Mexico, they were invented in Las Cruces, and they have a very, very interesting, hot sort of taste to them that defines New Mexican cuisine. Now my mom and all of her family are from New Mexico, so I grew up in West Texas, very familiar with hatch green chilies, moved down to San Antonio, and was very excited to find that HEB has the hatch chili festival every year. So I don't have to go to Tularosa to pick up my hatch green chilies. Last year was there was an excellent batch, so we're gonna see about this year. So all you gotta do, you go ahead and after your grill's nice and heated up, grab some chilies, and you just come in and you throw them on here. Now, when you throw them on here, you're going to start hearing them sizzle and pop and crackle a little bit. That's okay. That's what we want to do. What we want, what we really desire here, by getting them on there, they're going to start cracking and popping and sizzling, and you're going to eventually see them turn this nice blistered black. Now, see, this guy's got a little bit more to go because he's green here and just blistered on this side. So we're going to go ahead and line him up over here. But you'll notice that this guy looks really good. He's charred all the way around, and you're not actually going to be eating the skin. You're, you're just cooking it, blistering it, so the pepper cooks. You'll peel off the skin. Now, once you get a pepper that's all completed, what you want to do, you have that cutting board with the wet towels. You're going to go ahead and place the peppers that are finished over here on the cutting board. And the reason that you're doing this is the, the, the wet towel is going to really help steam and continue to cook the peppers. Now, a lot of people ask, well, why don't I just go ahead and get HEB to pay or, or pay them to go ahead and roast the chilies for me? They only charge, you know, like $3 to roast them for a pound. And to me, I think if you're going to actually get a bushel or more, go ahead and pay someone to roast them. In New Mexico, they'll usually just roast the whole bushel for you for like 10 bucks. But at, you know, $3 a pound versus paying $1.29 a pound, I think it's smarter to go ahead and roast them yourself. It's a lot of fun. It's not that difficult. And you get an amazing smell that just will make you so happy. This is one of the greatest smells in the world. Um, a lot, the last couple of things that I'd like to add is they freeze really well. So go ahead and buy a bunch of them, roast them now, and then go ahead and put about two to three chili peppers per Ziploc. That's usually what a lot of recipes like queso or enchiladas will call for, or even if you cook eggs on a Sunday morning. Um, there is a misconception about the heat of the pepper coming from the seeds. It actually comes from the veins. So if you don't like really, 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 really hot peppers, go ahead and de-vein them when you cook them. Well, that's pretty much how you roast the hatch green chili. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you can really enjoy cooking with these chilies. They are amazing. We're going to go ahead and close this lid so they get really, really nice and hot and blistered. But they're, they're fun chili to cook with. And be sure to check out Central Market every year. They also have a chili uh, recipe contest. So get familiar with them, cook them up, and enter in a recipe. Thanks a lot, and we look forward to y'all visiting the site again.